Hello, everybody. Dennis Prager here. Ryan in Atlanta, Georgia. Hello. Hi, Dennis. So I was just, uh, first of all, I, I do love your show. Very good show. Thank you. I listen to it daily. Thank you. Um, but my question is, going back to what you were saying about George Floyd, are you saying that he didn't die from the officer knee being on his neck? Apparently, like, according there were there were two autopsy reports, and one says he didn't, mm-hmm. and one says he did. I haven't heard of the two autopsy reports. I've only heard of one okay. that said that he died right. from uh, because, Right. Well, okay. all right. So okay. let me let me say. Listen, I have zero vested interest except truth. I've been broadcasting thirty five years. I I am okay. committed to the truth more than any other single thing. It, it does not appear mm-hmm. that that common use of a way of subduing a, a suspect who won't enter the police car, uh, this commonly used tactic has ever uh, killed anybody. It, it might have. I, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what the jury recommends. But I don't believe the Minneapolis Police Department would have something that is likely to kill somebody. Okay. Um... I'm not going to say that it didn't kill them because it, I'm I mean, not going to say it didn't either. I I don't know. I said, absolutely. look, I I said because I'm committed to telling you the truth. People were saying he can't breathe. He can't breathe. And uh, it, th- that's that that is a charge against the policeman, but it is also right. a, a charge against the charge that he was killed, which is the the mainstream press's charge. I don't know if he was killed by the policeman. And I don't know if he was killed by the policeman that it was racist. These are two huge leaps that the country has taken, causing untold anger and damage. Okay? I, I absolutely believe that. I can, I can agree with the fact that the media has definitely turned America into something that I don't think it's been in quite some time. I think it's right. been elevated. Um, of course, Social media has completely reformed the entire world and the way that we operate. That's right. Um, I, I will say, in, re- in, in with regards to um, this police brutality that everyone's talking about, and, and more specifically with um, George Floyd's scenario, since that's what you're talking about this morning or this afternoon, I do think that looking at that video, that there should be some type of reform done to the police department. Police department doesn't shouldn't hurt people, shouldn't kill people. That's not their goal. Their goal is to protect. Uh, I, I, I am with that. you. You're a good man. I, I I'm honored to have you as a listener. I just want to say, I I don't know. I admit I don't know if this thing has ever killed anybody. I would allow myself. Let me put it to you this way. I would allow myself to have a knee on the side of my neck, and see what happens. That is how uh, skeptical I am that that is a direct killer of human beings. It's hard for me to believe the Minneapolis Police Department would have something routine that has a likelihood of killing. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to continue with uh, thank you again, and I'm going to continue with Professor Hilarious. PR is president. PR is professor.